What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez and Samir Chaban. We're here. I'm trying to get Samir to make healthy decisions because you know the boys are trying to get ripped. I grabbed these cherry avocados. So he did the same. I'm trying to tell him to stay away from the cookies. He's trying to get these pistachios. No, 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 no. Don't play yourself. Pistachio he got the pistachios, played himself. I'm honestly super excited for this trip. I like to travel and change locations here and there, so super excited, especially when it's for an event like this, Funnel Hacking Live event. I'm starting to get a little bit more into funnels. Obviously, I see the value in them. Samir calls them printing cash system. Also, Tony Robbins, one of my biggest mentors, is gonna be there, so that's super exciting because when I first got into personal development, Tony Robbins was actually like one of the most game-changing people in my life, so that's gonna be super exciting getting to see him. I think this is us. So, I'm about to head on the flight. So, the boys just landed in Orlando. The weather feels actually a lot warmer than it is in LA. So honestly, it was a long flight. I didn't get much sleep. Pretty much running on maybe a few hours of sleep. Oh, chilly, bro. We're now getting ready in the elevator. Check the boy out. Looking clean. Now getting ready to head over to the event. So super excited because honestly, this is one of the skill sets. Learning about funnels was something I was already interested in. So the fact that I get to learn from probably the best person when it comes to funnels is absolutely incredible. So Did you say missed, hopefully? Yeah, I think we missed Russell Brunson's bar. Nah, he's going to be there all day. Yeah, so I'm getting ready here to order at Starbucks. You know when the boy orders, it's not a regular order. So I'm about to order 12 to 13 sandwiches <laughs> right now. See what they say. All right, boom. All right guys, so we just got to the convention center. Kind of looks like Disney World, the actual park. Exactly where to go. That way, that way, that way, that way. That way. Oh, definitely right there. I mean, got the badge on. Found him. We spotted one funnel hacker. We're here at the event, getting registered. Bumped into some business partners uh, that we met at different events, so that's super exciting. These guys went from selling four candles to now 50K per month in drop shipping. <laughs> just broke out out of the first session that we attended those two women entrepreneur lady preneurs shout out to them the world needs a lot more lady entrepreneurs so that's awesome to see them obviously doing their thing and sharing their stories absolutely incredible i picked up a good amount of things mainly you know really understanding social media platforms how they all work and how you should be using them that's one of the biggest pickups i personally got this is actually my first time in orlando so i'm literally brand new to everything that i'm seeing out here showing you guys what are some key takeaways you got so far would you say one at least you need to focus on messenger ads building up your messenger list like facebook messenger instead of just focus on building your email list yep because uh, yeah, the opening cute. rates are super fucking low so messenger rates again high opt-in rates but you got to be careful because it's personal so if you get too annoying like people get to yeah and that happened to uh, some of ours because obviously i've been running our messenger ads yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. i've been like i remember one hammering time, them hammering them every day and then on the third day consecutive contact it was like something like a ridiculous amount of people unsubscribed from the bot really and it didn't make sense but the thing that the girl talked about the, that was best was showing the your lowest points in your, your highest career. points and i think that's something that we don't like it and she said it too like male entrepreneurs you know we like to be alpha we have high ego so yeah. uh, we don't like to show our vanity and our weaknesses but you know i think that by sharing it with a lot of people that follow us on youtube showing those tough times that we go through because we definitely do go through them but i don't think we do too much of a good job at, at showing it so um, yeah. that's something that i'm gonna focus on is just my struggle there's over there popping champagne though it's like, somebody's celebrating early party. there we go so we got some guys here celebrating early on. Hey. She's actually planning on getting started yes. with either Shopify or Amazon. With a little fitness. Yeah, we need a lot more lady entrepreneurs doing their thing, so that's dope that actually, she's signing up. Actually, we don't. We do, we do. We need a lot more. I just met Dan today in person, but I've met, I feel like I've known him through YouTube. I've seen this guy's ads like so many times. Dude, and hell yeah. I would never, like this morning when I woke up, I would never have imagined that I would have met this amazing guy. Seriously. Dude, likewise, likewise. Wait, you flew all the way out from Arizona? You drove Arizona all the way down the way to Orlando. How I couldn't long, fly. I couldn't how, fly. How long of a drive was that? 31 hours. Wait, why couldn't you fly? Uh, better not to get that on video. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say you're most excited for for this event? Meeting everyone. Yeah. I knew, I knew I would meet, you know, I didn't know I'd meet you specifically. Yeah. But, you know, we all see each other on the screen yeah, yeah. all the time. 
but now it's like we're all here. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. One of the best parts about coming to events like this is that you get to meet usually like-minded individuals like this guy and a lot more people. So that's obviously super cool all the time because who wouldn't want to meet people in your same industry and also people that you can learn things from. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the middle of deciding on whether we should just crash, get some rest, and prepare for tomorrow, or get on the Fortnite grind. As you guys can know, like, I've had a little bit of a Fortnite addiction, to be honest. We're probably just gonna keep it calm for tonight. <laughs> That's the view outside of our hotel. So we just came out here to catch a quick vibe. For me, every time I travel, it's super humbling because I'm thinking about all the times that I wanted to travel, but I could never be in a situation or position where I could, because obviously I couldn't afford it. And I didn't know how I could really make the money to do it. And obviously my parents couldn't because obviously I was raised by a single mom and she didn't have any kind of money to really travel. Yo, let me be real with you guys real quick, look. You and I, we've been robbed of our freedom, all right? And it's about that damn time we take it back. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, there's alligators in there and shit, bro. <laughs> it's the last day of the event. I'm here with the boy. Yeah. Getting ready to see the boy Tony Robbins come on. Super excited. He said no filming, but you know your boy's a savage. You know sip of water, so you stay hydrated. Because what you're going to do will be very different if you're angry than if you're feeling grateful, than if you're feeling guided, than if you're feeling driven, than if you're feeling worried. Just wrapped up the event. All I gotta say is Tony Robbins is an absolute beast. Changing different mental states whenever you feel stuck, whenever you feel like you can't do something and you can't achieve it, how you really overcome that and get to the next level. So if you guys haven't been to a Tony Robbins event, I'd recommend you definitely go to one if you can. It's absolutely gonna be a game changer. Yesterday, they actually presented everybody that inside within the ClickFunnels you know, software had generated over a million dollars, but also people that had generated more than $10 million. And there was over 30 people that had either crossed the million dollar mark or the $10 million mark, which is absolutely incredible. For those of you guys that are out there that can't really wrap your head around how you'll ever even hit those numbers or even a quarter of those numbers, right? Like how am I gonna hit my first six figures or maybe just about to hit your first five figures? Well, you gotta get around an environment that exposes you to people that have had that success, right? Because it's a lot harder to envision yourself being able to do any kind of numbers you know five figures six figures seven figures or even eight figures like some of these guys have done without seeing other people doing it or really hearing about how it was possible right because of course we can't wrap our heads around it so you know if you're thinking about the possibilities within an opportunity you're in now but you just can't really see it i'd recommend finding the best people in whatever opportunity it is and seeing how you can connect with them and really learn from them so you can actually understand how they were able to achieve whatever it was that they achieved in whatever industry or opportunity it is that you're trying to work in me being able to to learn from other millionaires and seeing the possibilities and hearing how people over and over and over again have done it makes it a lot realistic for me to believe that I can do the same because if so many people have been able to do it you know why can't I be the next one yeah I want you to scream it as loud as possible you're not about it I'm about it you're not about it I'm bro. about that Five, one thousand four three two what's going on everybody boy Juan Valdez back with a brand new video is say what's up YouTube YouTube or something? yeah it's for Logan Paul Jake Paul you guys want to say what's up ew ew why you say that <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the Gucci that we got on, but everybody thinks we're vloggers. So we're just going to roll with that and we're going to run with it. And I got this. Are you vlogging, bro? <laughs> if you don't yell, I feel like if you don't yell, you're not vlogging. Fast. Not vlogging. Hey. Oh, you miss so, your mommy. I do miss my mom's cooking. What the fuck was that? That's what, what happens that? when you hit the table like a Why savage. Oh my God. Dude, nobody's touching me. what a nap in a bag looks like. You guys, for those of you guys that are watching, I wanna know, have you guys ever seen what a nap in a bag looks like? Well, Boom. this is it right here. This thing right here, after you eat it, it's game food, over. food, and then the naps come in here. Yeah, game, game over. What time gone. is it? I don't know. <laughs> Shout out to all the haters, though. <laughs> Yeah, 
That's right. Yeah, we caught the PS4 while we we're out here because why? Because the grind doesn't stop. Painful plane ride. The boys are back in LA, finally back home. Honestly, there's nothing like coming back home after like four or five day trip. Honestly, anytime that I'm away from home, there's nothing like always going back. So, hope you guys enjoyed the whole video of the whole trip. Till the next one. Peace.